Hello, Nutty. What are you playing at in the sandpit? I am pretending to be a desert princess and I'm riding a camel across the sand. That sounds fun. It would be very hot, so I would need to drink a lot of water. Well, it would depend on what kind of desert you were in, Nutty. What do you mean? Well, deserts can be hot and cold. For somewhere to be called a desert, it simply means that there is hardly any rain. I want to go to a desert that has lots of sand and sun, because that's where camels live, and I really like camels. Oh, how wonderful to go to a desert and ride a camel across the sand dunes! The stars are shining. The moon is floating in the sky. The desert is quiet. Wait a minute. What's that noise? It sounds like someone is sawing some wood. Let's wait until the morning and see who it is. Oh, it's Nutty. So it was you snoring in the tent last night. Oops. You're right, Nutty. It is very sandy, as well as being dry and hot in this desert. But what's this? Look at all those trees and water. What's going on? This is called an oasis. This is when water that is under the ground gets to the top of the ground. One way this happens is if the ground above the water wears away. It must be very important to know where the oases are, and without them, you could not have towns in the desert. That's right. Everything needs water. You could not cross a desert unless you knew where the oases were. If you don't drink enough water, you dry up like an old leaf. Let's go and take a look at what we can find in this oasis. Animals have big horns. What are they called? They are called the Arabian oryx. They must be good at chasing other animals with horns like that. No, they don't chase other animals. They only eat plants, and they can live for several weeks without drinking water because the plants have water in them. I thought only camels could do that. That's a big bird. It looks very tame. This bird is called a Lana falcon. It has amazing eyes. They can see a lot further than you and I. It looks like it can fly very fast, so you'd need good eyes. They should wear sunglasses with all this sunshine. <laughs> Look at these two trees close together. This is a peach tree, but I don't know what the other one is. Yes, you are right. That's a peach tree. Look at that lovely fruit. They plant it next to this date palm, so it gets shade from the sun. The date palm grows a fruit called a date. This is a very important food in this part of the world. What a beautiful horse! Is this called an Arabian horse? It looks quite small. Yes, it's an Arabian horse, and though it is small, it has very strong bones and can carry a heavy rider. Oh, can I ride the horse, please, please, please? I thought you wanted to ride a camel across the desert, Nutty. <laughs> oh yes, I almost forgot. Show us how to say hello in Arabic, Nutty. Um, mahaba. Mahaba. I'm travelling across the desert on a camel. It's very bumpy, but I can see a long way as camels are so tall. Look at me! I'm a princess riding across the desert. Ta da! Nutty rides across the desert. 
she sees a scorpion on the sand, some vulture birds in the air, a desert hare, and a genie made from wind and sand floating in the air. At night, the desert is very cold, and so they light a campfire. Underneath the floating moon and the shining stars, they listen to the sound of someone playing a neigh, filling the sky with music. Good night, Nutty. Have a great day tomorrow. Night, night. It's so beautiful out in the desert. You know, Nutty, the plants and animals that live in a desert have to be very clever because it is so hard to live here. For example, the desert rose. This plant has very long roots which go deep into the ground to collect food and water. The stems are like bottles, which is where the water is kept. My granny's got some of those flowers. I didn't know they could come from Arabia. And look at this strange animal. This is the three-toed jaboa. It is just like a little kangaroo and hops around on the sand. It can survive for years without drinking water. Instead, getting water out of all the food it eats. It's amazing how different animals can be. There is one other very special animal we should talk about, Nutty. It is, of course, the camel. There are two kinds of camels: dromedary, which has one hump, and the Bactrian, which has two humps. The lumps on the back are full of fat, not water, which the camels use as food when there is nothing to eat. A camel can drink 200 liters of water in about three minutes. This water is stored all over the camel's body, and it means they can spend a long time without drinking. Being a camel, Nutty. We like you just the way you are.